Hey, welcome back to House of Da Vinci 3, where we play Giacomo the Wrecking Ball. <clears throat> anyway, we escaped the institution or the organization, but only not as good. Uh, it looks like we're going after him. Also, we found a book, which is apparently an important thing. Go simply knocking on the door is out of the question, huh? Follow the instructions, you left me and found Villa. Found Luca Pacioli's villa. It's quite remote but high, nicely restored and walled off with a high wall. I'll ask completely silent, but it's too early to draw a conclusion. Besides, this is where we're supposed to meet, and I need to get in. Just break the door down. I'm sure you can manage. Well, that nearly hit me in the face. I thought it was going to be that precise before they know. For home, boys. That or we just broke into the shed. That's. There's nothing preventing me from, you know, <laughs> but uh, can we see any clue on what shape we would want? Yes, we can. Great party trick, though. Were you really worried you would fall down the stairs or something? Okay, there's gonna be time travel shenanigans here. There you go. <laughs> I guess we're not messing with this just yet. Okay. Of 
quite the barricade if you can just shove it aside, but you know. How's MC Leonardo probably already left, but I'm sure he must have left me a message. But the instructions Leonardo left me a found it's quite remote. Yes, we read that. Main door was barricaded from the inside, but I managed to open it with a good deal of brute force. There you go. <coughs> Our genius Giacomo Bardigin. Seems neither Leonardo nor his friend Luca are here. I need to find out what happened to him to them, but it looks like their departure ever rushed was voluntary. How can you, why would you? Hmm. If you voluntarily leave, do you really need to bother barricading your door? Dearest friend, sounds like when you get an email from like one of those shady internet places that sell you things on the cheap, right? Dear friend, I'm glad you were able to find both this residence and what we came to the scriptorium for. I surely noticed this place is deserted. My friend, do you know where who I'm talking about? And I decided to get to the place where we will all meet. I'm sorry about this test, but I need to be sure that whoever is reading these words is indeed you. Look around to be perceptive and know that the wind will whisper about the path to take, friend. As always, I wish you good luck and an open mind. So are we really just going to leave the book there? I suppose so. I also don't feel like we needed this to turn that, but again, <laughs> we're here for the puzzles and the logic reasoning, not for this type of logic. Sorry, what am I trying to do here? I need to get to there. Brute force this if I have to, but I'd rather not. Giacomo the Wrecking Ball strikes again. Also, not what I was trying to grab. I wanted to grab this.
But apparently we're going to be doing that later. Still need to find an item because this thing ain't complete yet. Find a massive door, I found a room where Leonardo probably spent a lot of time in recent years. The study he used during his time with Luca. He reminded me of his workshop in both Florence and Milan. It seemed like only yesterday that I entered his service under rather unfortunate circumstances. Everything in the room conveys Leonardo's style, ornamental but practical furniture, and lots of mechanical models, tools, and gadgets. You can see the master had a free hand in his room. Today I felt a tinge of regret that I did not bring some of my wine seedlings with me. Luca told me he would like to expand his vineyard and I decided to help him. He gave me the former granary to use in my workshop and I started making a model. The biggest problem with the vineyard is water. The grapevines suffer from a lack of moisture as Luca is very often on the road, whether fulfilling his duties as a friar or getting his Getting new materials for his books. But even when he stops at home, the well is a long way off and watering even the flow. Few row of few rows of vines is a lengthy and difficult process. I have to figure out a transposition system for water, grapes, and a final product, wine. The other solution is livestock, but there is no room for that. The ground is too soft for a normal cart. But if I could create suitable tracks made of solid material for it, perhaps in time we could even repair and use the old windmill in the middle of the garden to pump. Maybe our good old friar just has too much on his plate. Right, there is normal time travel here that I need. Well, normal. There is time travel here, so I should probably check. Dragons have always fascinated me, creatures of myths, legends, and fairy tales that instill fear into the hearts of grown men. And my drawings always depict them based on anatomical models of existing animals. The human imagination is powerful, but it is nothing compared to the reality of nature. I can't portray pride, guile, or cruelty better than through the eyes of a feline. I can't imagine stronger armor in the scales of a great lizard. But there is one characteristic of dragons for which I cannot find inspiration in nature, and that is their ability to breathe fire. And that is what I was thinking about when I designed the new lighting for the access road to Luca's mansion. Along with the metal body of the dragon's head, I set about repairing the bell tower. The clapper of the bell was nowhere to be found, so I asked Luca to have a new one made. I designed the top of it with a six-sided cross-section so that it could be mounted on a fixed axis like the one I used for a wine cart, for example. If I decided to mechanize the bell in the future, I'd hate to change it again. Where do I need to be in order to time travel? Up there. There's a lot that can be done here, but...
Or the tightly bound chain might need a special item. No, yeah, another wrecking ball, eh? Okay, so I'm missing an item to get everything started. Also, that looks strange as well, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Okay, um, all right, point me in the right direction. This writing desk, I I'm pretty sure I'm clicking this, not that. I feel like I need to put the car on there. Yeah, okay, so we're doing the mess with all the little things again. So there's a... Is that on the other side as well? Yeah. I feel like I need to put the cart on there, but it's not letting me, is it? goes on here strange I guess it needs to end in there then Ornamental lever. I think this is going to fit on here. Um, let's ch quickly check the outside, because there was a bit of stuff left to do there. Y 
you wouldn't be in need of a lever now. Mm. See, we're back at the point where there's just too many places to go. And like, eventually, yes, I would find where it goes, but I'm also thinking about you guys' patience. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, shaped key would that be for this I guess we don't care too much about anything else there. One, I'm sorry, Leonardo, I'm not meeting here, but on the other, I'm very much looking forward to testing all his inventions myself. Some people would pay handsomely for such an opportunity. For example, Zach Borgia, though he would be more interested in discovering the master's secrets and using his knowledge to get more power instead of a better understanding of their functionality. By the state with Luca, since he passed through the gate and into the past, as soon as he laid his eyes on the old mill, he was fascinated and thought apart about how to make it useful. It's also telling me about this again. But that is still not moving. Hmm. So 
So we still can't get to all of that stuff. Can we get into the yard? We can. All right. Um, let's call this an episode. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you're the series. See you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everyone.